Hey everybody, uh, this is Nick again. Um, I wanted to do another uh, quick video shootout. It's the uh, Fender American Vintage 2 1961 Stratocaster, the PPS to Red, and the American Original uh, that I got used about a month, uh, two months ago, in shell pink uh, 60s Stratocaster. Um, so yes, I'm gonna go over these two briefly. I'm gonna do kind of like a lo-fi since I'm only using the audio of my uh, my phone sound test and just give you my thoughts. Here's the situation. Um, I can't keep both of these. I have to return one. I got one of them, I got them both at Guitar Center. And so I they're too similar for me to keep them both at this point. Uh, I totally would keep them both because I love both of them, but uh, it's just for the budget, uh, that's that. So. Let me go over the American original first. Okay, so what this is, uh, you can look up the specs and everything, but this is essentially like a hybrid of all the cool 60s features. So it's got that. I think that's the later 60s logo. I think it started, um, I don't know when it started. I'm not a historian, but it has that one. Uh, and what it has is it's got a nine and a half inch radius across the fretboard. Um, so that's not quite period correct but i think they make that uh they do that kind of like the custom shop does to make it um more comfortable for players so when i got this guitar i pulled it out of the case and i've never had this before with a fender it was set up perfect plays perfect sounds exactly like it should the action was perfect i was just like that never happens uh so i pretty much instantly fell in love with this guitar um that's this one the American Vintage 2. I have heard a lot of not so great things about this guy uh, with the quality control, but I took a chance on it anyway. And sure enough, it did have some quality control issues like uh, the neck was seated a little crooked in the pocket. So the high E was hanging off the fretboard. Uh, so I had to take the neck off and adjust the seating and uh, reattach it, which is like no biggie for me. I don't mind that. But, you know, I know that some people would not enjoy that and taking a neck off of a fender if you've never done it before. The first time when you hear that little pop, you think it snaps in half. So that's this one. Um, but here's the thing about this one. This one is very period correct. And the biggest thing for me personally is it has a seven and a quarter inch radius, which I have grown to really like. Like when you bend strings, uh, you almost bend them kind of up in a circle as opposed to on a flatter board where you just bend them straight up and I've just grown to really enjoy that feeling so I wasn't sure which one of these I was going to like more um and uh I gotta say I like them both so let's let's plug them in and let's do a quick sound test I just have it with the phone there we go and I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna noodle around for a minute so <laughs> So yeah, on this one, the things that jump out at me, now oh, granted, I've only had this for a day, but the neck profile on this one is much skinnier than this one. So the American Vintage 2, a much thinner neck profile um, than the American Original. And when I say thin, I mean from front to back. I don't mean top to bottom. From top to bottom, I think that this one is actually a little bigger. It feels like there's a wider spacing between the frets. Um, but yeah, I generally prefer a much fatter neck. Uh, I'm always like, it can always be fatter. It can always be fatter. Uh, so when I felt this one for the very first time when I pulled it out of the case yesterday, I must admit I was a little disappointed that it wasn't thicker. Uh, but I do like the fact that it's like wide top to bottom. Uh, it's tall is what I should say. And the more I've been playing it, it's just this guitar has something that I don't know. It's like just some sort of character that I really like. Okay. So moving over to the American original. Same kind of licks. I'm trying to do the same kind of licks.
So they're they're to me they're pretty similar. And so here's what here's the difference that I hear just because the amp is right here, and this is a Princeton reverb by the way, and everything's pretty much like flat, um, and I'm plugged straight in, no no pedals or anything like that. I feel like the American Vintage has a little bit more bite, like it's a little more aggressive. It's got a little more like top end kind of kind of snappy in the face kind of thing. Um, I wouldn't call it quack, not like a not like a Telecaster. I would call it more of like uh, it's got kind of like a top end kind of articulation, I guess. This one, the American Original, is warmer, um, and it's got more of like a scooped. It feels like it has more of like a scooped uh sound to it like it's more like maybe pleasing if you're going for like a nice smooth kind of sound um but i mean I'm, I'm really splitting hairs here i mean it's really like pretty close now here's something else i noticed um the neck tint here let me flip these around the neck tint on the uh on the um american vintage 2 uh is darker it's got a darker neck tint so if you're into that you'll be pleased that that one has a nice dark ne neck tint which i actually really really do like um but the american original it's actually it's not like go uh it's not like a not like a natural wood and i i tend to like i like vintage style guitars uh someday if i ever get some money i'd like to get some real vintage guitars but until then this is about where i can exist is in these reissue type guitars but this one has a nice neck tint too. I mean, it definitely is like, I don't know. Um, it's pretty sweet. I really don't want to get rid of one of these. That's the thing. I mean, that's like, I like them both. Um, but let's see. Out of these two, I'm going to keep this one. <laughs> because here's why. Uh, I just, it's just got something about it, man. I mean, it's like, I don't know if it's the seven and a quarter radius that I like or what, but it's just got, some kind of mojo and you know every video photo that i've seen of these they do not do the color justice like when i hold this up when i'm looking at the screen it looks like a cherry red it's really hard to see but it's not it's more like in person it's more of like a it's more of like a pink it's more of like a coral not this kind of pink but like it's it's got like a muted quality which i absolutely love i love the neck tint uh i i the seven and a quarter radius and like the neck, honestly, the profile, I would probably overall maybe prefer this one as far as like the thickness of it, the American original. Um, but this one, this American Vintage 2, it just has some sort of character that I can't describe that all the American Vintage guitar series that I have, uh, I've got, I want to say this is my fourth one now. They all have some sort of like character. And I think that that's maybe just because they try to be as period correct as they can. And I just like the vintage stuff. Um, with the American original, this guitar is sweet. And uh, I had every intention of keeping it until the American Vintage 2 showed up yesterday. And now this one, I, you know, it's like, I love it. I don't want to say anything bad about it. The only thing I guess I would say is like, you know, the uh, the nine and, a, nine and a half inch fingerboard radius. To me, it just doesn't, I don't know. It's like, I, that's the one thing that's gnawing at me is it's not like, it's not period correct. Um, I know that there's aspects of the vintage two that are not as well. I mean, um, but this one, I don't know. Like when I play it, it sounds great and it looks great and it feels great. It just like, I mean, I love it. I don't know. And it's not like it's got like a majorly fat neck. Uh, it's just comfortable. It's got more of like a, like a thick C. Uh, and this one's got more of like, I would honestly almost describe it more like a D honestly like it's like uh it's you know it's I have a 59 uh vintage reissue and that one does have a true D it's like got a really thin neck and this one feels closer to that than this one which feels closer to like uh just like a full C so I don't know this guitar is awesome I I I, I might return it and I might do one of those things where I return it and then I come back <laughs> two days later and I go, wait, give me that back. Uh, cause I've definitely done that before. It's like, you never know how you're going to feel, uh, being an owner until you're an owner. And then you never know how you're going to feel being somebody who returns something until you actually did. Thank you for watching. I hope this was informative for you and have you guys, uh, a really good day.